fails, hold down the power button to reset it, and then turn it back on. We're going to stadium for the first game here, the Thunder. S Camp versus Poofy. Yes. And we see a lot of El Biagi yeah. being uh, used. Biagi is a really good pick because he is all around. He is, uh, on paper, the most balanced uh, fighter in terms of speed and power. His super, while similar to the spin, has a lot of properties to it that can make your opponent's life miserable. Curb oh. super actually making four points, but R. Miller actually making some curb shots on his own. It's already 3-3. Three, three. About to say bear on stilts, but all right, yeah, Poofy. Uh, Poofy is uh, really on point with his curves. Like what I see there. Man, uh, they're just trading shots back and yeah. forth. That's that, let me tell you, when you got two people on stadium, that's not entirely uncommon just to watch them trading blows because it's so big, it's easy to get a shot or two through the crack. And the curve super actually making Poofy take the first game. Charging up once again, going for the lob super, and Eskep was wow. not ready for it. I wouldn't have been ready for that either, but I gotta say, Poofy's Miller, I like what I'm seeing. Shadows of uh, a certain someone I know, <laughs> me, uh, his, I really like his curve game, especially how he aims upward and downward right off the serve. Uh, it's really good to throw people off. That's why I call it the Sisto psych out patent pending. Um, but, uh, both players doing well with their supersonic shots. Nailing those just frames. Look at the red goal behind Goofy. This could be, and that is S Camp's window of opportunity. He nails it, but Goofy with a Sisto psych out gets five to 14, winning the first game cleanly. Yeah, Poofy's been dominating with those curved shots. S Camp needs to be careful. He's, he's getting right into the corner. And we see that Poofy actually has a tendency to go into the lower corner of the yeah. stage. Yeah. So he needs to cover it. But we also saw that he threw the lob super on the other end. So he knows that actually s -Camp is going for that side. So he needs to be careful and make sure that he covers all the options available to him. But actually, the character switch, very astute. Tosses him up with a diagonal angle, going back and forth, charging up the super, going for the oh, other 50-50. No. Those are three points. That's got needs to know that that is available to him. Charging up, going straight ahead. Those straight shots, man. Those straight shots are the killers, and those supersonic shots, they impress me. They please me greatly. Charging up the super for the lob shot. Not quite going to get it. Curve shot, not either. Oh, that was almost going to make it the full lap, but that's like three points by S Camp. Shame. And those curves, Shame, man. shame, shame. Those curves. Diagonal angles galore. Let's see, going straight ahead. That was a beautiful shot by S Camp. It's already six to, nine to six, I, uh, my apologies. Oh, Scamp, it's Scamp. It's I, Scamp. I forgot I've seen that word before in my life. Uh, so yeah, Scamp versus Poofy. Uh, uh, Poofy is, uh, you know, right now we're tied up. Poofy getting that at the last second. Charging up the super, not quite gonna get those points. Lobs it, going straight ahead. Curve shot, not gonna get it. Go, gonna go for another super lob shot and tosses him into. That's one, one. Scamp showing signs of life. 12 to nine, getting one set. Can he get number two and could we see a game three? Tosses him with the curve shot, trying to go for the diagonal angle. Those are three points, that's a three zero by Scamp right there. And Poofy looking a little bit flustered. Let's see, going for the diagonal angle straight Whoa. ahead. I'm surprised that got past him, but whatever. Going straight ahead once again and going for the diagonal angle. Nice. Curve shot, charging up the super, counters it and charges the super of his own. There going for the 50-50, not quite gonna get it. Go for the oh, up curve. What a curve! Oh, getting those five points right there. Smallest five point zone in the game and he nailed it. Even though Poofy fired back with a three pointer of his own, Scamp is still in the lead in this set. This isn't over. Charging Good. up a super, encountering uh. it, the curve track in the angle. This might be match point by Poofy. 50-50 once again, delivering the counter, and wow. that's an 11 to nine. Scamp is actually looking really good in this game, Frankie. I agree, Scamp may have found uh. a second lease on life. I spoke too soon, the curse of 11 strikes again. 11 to 12, Poofy nails that set, he's on match point now. Let's see if Scamp can take it to get the first one-to-one -one of this 
tournament. Charging up the super once again. Oh. Goes for the curve shot. Oh. Skip went yeah, way that's... into the net, trying to counter and going for the straight angle. Charging up the super once again. Curve shot right there. Delivering the counter. That was a beautiful camera by Scamp. Oh no, the Sisto psych out results in another quick three points. Three to six. Scamp's got to run it back quick. And what a curve for a quick three pointer. That's just what he needed, but that now that's. Another three-pointer or a five-pointer will do this for Poofy. And it does. A quick super curve off the wall. Hands that game to Poofy.